Why are you involved in this issue? Well, it's a straightforward matter of a crime against humanity, as Pope Francis has said. It's a horrific moment in history to realize that there are more people in slavery today than in any other time in human history. So it's a matter of great moral responsibility, which was affirmed by all the religious leaders of the world today. So this is a very important day for the fight against slavery. You've been uh, a part of this, this fight for 20 years. Are you surprised at how this issue has now developed into a larger issue today? I'm extremely encouraged. 20 years ago, very few people were talking at all about the reality of modern day slavery. But now it's confirmed that this is a massive plague upon the world. And now we have this unity of voices that have come together to say this is still exists in our world. And it's a moral outrage. And it's an incumbent upon all of us to do our part to fight it. Why do you think that slavery still exists in 2014? Is this, is this not a, 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 an anachronism? Is that not something that you would have thought had died out uh, you know, 100 years ago? The overwhelming reason why there is still so much slavery in the world today is simply because the laws against slavery are not enforced. In South Asia, for instance, where there are millions of people held in slavery, if you hold someone in slavery, you're at greater risk of being struck by lightning than you are of ever being convicted of that crime. Impunity is what drives slavery in our world today, and we have found over and over again when the slave traffickers and slave owners start going to jail for this, they leave poor people alone. The primary reason there are so many slaves in the world today is simply impunity. Do you feel that it's a, a cultural issue that in some parts of the world there's a, a stronger um, feeling of social obligation to your social betters? Is that part of the, the, the issue here? Certainly it's true that there's classes of people that feel intimidated by those who are stronger, but that's the, the purpose of law. Law is to assert the strength of everyone's rights. And when law does not show up to defend those who are weaker in society, they are going to be enslaved. But it's not a, a matter of culture, it's a matter of choice. And right now, choice is being made in country after country to not actually enforce the laws against slavery. There's great laws on the books, but it really comes down to whether or not those laws are being enforced. If you look at the countries that have the highest rates of slavery, it's because they have the lowest rates of actual convictions against the people who traffic in slavery. Are you optimistic that this fight will be won? I am. This is the ugliest but most preventable man-made disaster on the globe today because you can fight this successfully. We've seen this over and over again in our projects around the world. In the Philippines, in one particular city, we focused on reducing sex trafficking of children and we achieved a reduction of more than of nearly 80% in just four years by standing up local law enforcement to actually enforce the law. When the traffickers and slave owners start to go to jail, they leave poor people alone. But how do you get into a situation where that actually happens? I mean, it's a law enforcement issue, right. and in a lot of these countries that are plagued by poverty and a number of other uh, issues, maybe cultural prejudice against women, uh, maybe religious uh, edicts that prevent certain people from taking fully part in the labor force uh, and obviously corruption, just plain old corruption. Is that something that you can fight, all those things together? We've seen it's actually a winnable fight because number one, these countries have already expressed in their law the moral outrage against slavery and so they've already said that this is wrong under their own moral code because they've made it against the law now the question is can we enforce those laws corruption is certainly a, a significant problem but we find if you actually focus on getting rid of those police officers and authorities who are corrupt when they start to lose their jobs when they start to get in trouble for that the law enforcement begins to actually enforce the law. They switch sides so that they're not protecting the traffickers and slave owners anymore. They're protecting the victims of slavery. And you will actually start to see this end. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.